الله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله As we mentioned, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala orders us to be one ummah based on kitab wa sunnah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَاَتَّسِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا Hold on, all of you steadfast to the rope of Allah and do not divide. And in a beautiful hadith, which really gives us an idea about some of the fitna that we face, especially from those who are not from Ahl Sunnah, the du'at that are out there calling, so many callers, especially now with the internet. You find so many people with thousands of views, hundreds of thousands, some of these people. But what are they calling to? Are they calling to Kitab or Sunnah? This is what we love. We would love it if they, if they were calling the callers to Khair, if they were du'at, du'at to Khair, du'at, du'at to Sunnah. We would love that. We would follow behind them, or at least side by side with them, in calling to the Quran and the Sunnah and the understanding of the Salaf. But what we find is أَكْثَرُهُمْ مِنْ أَحْلَ بِدَعَ Most of them, unfortunately, are from Ahl al And we have to be honest with ourselves. These are the people who belittle the Qawaid and the Sharia. These are the people who take the Islamic history over the Kitab wa Sunnah. These are the people who make ta'zeem of their aql and their intellect over Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And may Allah protect us from that sabil. Because what the Quran and the Sunnah and the path of the Ahl Sunnah has laid for us goes against that. That's not what we learn from the Quran. That's not what we learn from the Sunnah. And that's not what we learn from the Salaf of this Ummah from Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah. We don't see the path that these callers are upon. عن عبد الله بن مسعود رضي الله تعالى عنه قال خط لنا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم خط ثم قال هذا السبيل هذا سبيل الله ثم خط خطوط عن يميني وعن شمالي ثم قال هذه سبل متفرقة على كل سبيل من حاشيطان يدعو إليه ثم قرأ وأن هذا صراط مستقيم فاعتبيوه ولا تتبيوا سبل فتفرق بكم عن سبيله. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said in the hadith of عبد الله بن مسعود رضي الله تعالى عنه قال The Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم drew a line for us like this. ثم قال then he said Hadha Sabil Allah. This is the path of Allah because it's straight. Hadha Sabil Allah. Thumma khatta khututin an yameen. Then he made a, 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 a line on the right. And wa an shimalihi. And on the left of it. Thumma qal. Then he said, Hadhi subul. These are the paths. Mutafarraka. These are the paths of division, you know, these divided paths, these paths that are, are, are away from that Sabila law, Sabila Mu'mineen. Ala kullu sabil, ala kullu sabilin On every one of these paths that we drew on the right and the left, there's a shaitan at the end. Ala kulli sabil, Minha shaitan. On every path, there's a shaitan. Yad'u ilay. That calls to it. Then he read the ayat, When nahadha sirati mustaqim fa'atabiyu wa la ta'atabiyu subu. Verily, that is my straight path. Then follow it. And do not follow the various paths. And divide from my sabin. Or divide from... Uh, divide on these various paths. Ahabita fillah, subhanallah wa bahamdihi subhanallah alazim. This is uh, an immense hadith 
and lesson for us. That there would, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam let us know, because this wasn't in his time, Salawatul Rabbi wa Salamahu Alaihi. In his time, it was just Ahlul Sunnah, except for the hypocrites. But after the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam died, that's when the sects began to appear. And this is a lesson for us because some people believe that sectarianism is, sectarianism is ended, but la. In fact, there are more. Many sects have went to the side, went away, but now there's new jama'at, new groups. They may not be a sect per se, and this is an issue that uh, takes darasa and the ulama differ about whether you say these, like Akhwan al-Muslimin and Jama'at al-Tablik are sects or not. I believe, as Sheikh Saleh, Saleh al-Sheikh mentioned, that they are jama'at, they're groups. But other mashayikh from our mashayikh believe they're sects, regardless of the semantics, ahabat fillah. The point being is there are many du'at ala abwaab jahannam who yad'u ila hadha sabil, sabil ghayra mu'mineen. There's so many people out there calling you. Some of them, they look good. Some of them, they look like they have the sunnah. They even talk with the sunnah. But as we mentioned prior to this countless times, al-ibra bi haqa'iq, laysa bi musamiyat, that the proof is in the reality of something, in its substance, not in its name. So someone could say they're from Ahl sunnah say they're Salafi, say they're from the Salafiyun, say they're from Ahl hadith say they're from Ahl fiqh say they're from Ahl sunnah say they're from Ahl athar but in fact, the proof is in what they practice and they teach and they preach. And may Allah bless us to be of those who preach, who practice what we preach. And forgive us of our many, many shortcomings that we, and the sins that we do in the day and the night. And may Allah bless us all with ilm al-nafi, rizq al tayyib amal al-mutaqabbil, and forgive us of our many sins and help us to go forward on khair and to leave off shar and bid'ah, and argumentation, and deviance. And may Allah bless us to be of those when we're corrected that we accept it as long as it's in accordance with the truth. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.